Nice door. Shut up. Two bits. Please tell him to keep his mouth shut. Alex, keep your mouth shut. I just said two bits. Just be quiet and let him do the talking. I said right? two bits. I was just finishing the song. What the fuck is wrong with everyone today? Shut up. Mm -hmm. We just shut the fuck up. Alex, just let him do the talking, all right? Who, who the fuck's talking? No one's even answered the door Dude, yet. Dude, shut up, okay? Let's just do this quick and be out of here. All right, all right. Jesus fucking Christ. No one's answering. Give it a minute. We're gonna wait all day? What if no one's home? Just give it a minute. Maybe she's in the shower or something. Well, if she's in the shower, how is she gonna hear the door? Okay, maybe she's taking a shit, all right? And, and she just can't get to the door this second. Give it a minute. We've been here like five minutes already. How many minutes are we gonna wait? Darian, just knock again, okay? The most impatient sons of bitches I ever met. Impatient? We've been here like 10 minutes. We've been here like two seconds. What, what the fuck taught you how to tell Holy time, man? Shit, like, Darian, just knock on the fucking door again. Alex, shut up. I'll knock again if he shuts up. You gonna shut up? Yeah, I'll shut up. Darren, Just knock, knock on the fucking door. Two bits. I'm gonna punch you in the fucking mouth. Well, what the fuck did you do the same knock for? It's like you're asking for it, man. Why not? Oh, in the saints, go marching in. Dude, stop. What the fuck is your problem? Don't be so rude. Give her a minute. Hey, Andrea, sweetheart, it's, it's how you been? It's been a while. No, Andrea, wait. It, it, it's not. It, it, Jesus Christ, take it easy, will you please? Oh, fuck! Take it easy? Oh, you want me to take it easy? Get in there! Yes. Oh my god. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Let me help you up. Come on. Oh. Are you okay? Oh. Yeah. Terrific. Really. It's been a fucking great day. I'm so sorry. I thought you were Travis. Yeah, story of my fucking life. Listen, Andrea, do me a favor. Okay. There's a couple of gangster looking guys outside. Probably with the air against the door right now. So could you just let them in so we can all have a, a little yeah, talk? Sure. Oh. Come in. <sighs> How's your face? It's fine. Thanks. Yes. Least I could do. Coffee, all right, guys? It's great. Thank you. You mind if I ask you one of those? It's kind of cut down, but as you can see, it's not working out so well. So what's going on, Darian? What are these guys doing here? Oh, these gentlemen are looking for my brother. Why? Listen, your boyfriend, he borrowed $20,000 worth of cocaine from my boss. And then he disappeared. Are you gonna kill him? We're hoping it doesn't have to come to that. Our boss is content with getting his drugs back and never doing business with Travis again. Really? And what if the drugs are gone? Then he wants his 20 grand. Well, what if there's no 20 grand? Then Travis takes two slugs to the head. Well, what if you can't find him? And Darian here winds up standing in for Travis's absence. Okay. That's really fucking stupid. Not to mention irrational. You don't know our boss. He's not the most rational person. This one time, killed this guy using the wheel of a moped. Got that from Pet Cemetery 2. Shit. Sounds like a nice guy. He's not. He's a prick. But he's a crazy prick, and I've seen him kill people over a lot less than 20 grand. I said decaf, you cocksucker! Jeez, I'll go buy you a decaf! Oh. I can't have caffeinated, it makes me crazy! I can't have sugar! I'm gonna fuck your mother! I, I swear to God! We need to find the money or the drugs by midnight. Do you have any idea where we might find Travis?
Just gonna sit and watch TV all day. Yep. It's gonna make you stir. Yeah. The weed? Yeah. The TV. It's not so bad. Yeah. Won't have to use a rubber anymore. Oh. Yeah. Do you ever plan on getting a job? I have a job. A real job. My job is a real job. No, I hate to break it to you, but selling drugs is not a real job. It's scummy and undignified. What's with the hostility? I'm just sick of having to do everything and you sit around. What are you talking about? Who's paying the rent? Uh, listen, it's not my fault that your mother is charging us rent to live in this pink fucking fun house. The only thing missing is those wavy, crazy mirrors. It's like living on the set of the Golden Girls. Listen, I'm on the comeback, okay? This is only temporary. I've been on the comeback for three months, Travis. Andrea, listen, I'm putting together something real big, okay? And I need to know that you're behind me. Do you realize that this is the first conversation we've had in weeks? Yeah. It is? Yeah, it is. I'm out working all day, you're out all night, I only see you in passing. And when I do get the chance to talk to you, it's like you're an android and there's no romance left. What do you mean, no romance? What about the time I stood outside with my boombox, played your favorite song? All my instincts, they return. Everywhere! That wasn't you, that was John Cusack. Me, John Cusack? What's the difference, really? Let me tell you something, Travis. I had a party of ten yesterday. Ten people who wanted their checks but ten different ways. An old lady had me return her soup to the kitchen three times because she insisted it tasted funny. I'm busting my fucking ass so we can find a new place. My mother keeps asking me when the hell we're gonna move out, and I don't know what to tell her. You can shoot it absolutely nothing. You're not gonna start listening to your fucking mother. Not that bitch. You know what? Forget. Forget I even said anything. You're fucking unbelievable. You're fucking unbelievable. What did I say, Andrea? Got home from work and all of the shit was gone. Hence the smack to the face and the knee to the balls. Then let's not forget the kick to the ribs. Let's not forget that. Andrea, do you have a, a phone I could use in the bedroom? Yeah, down the hall, right? Who the hell do you think you're calling, man? I ain't mind your business. You're just, you're just gonna let him make a phone call. Andrea, let me level with you. Now, I don't expect you to believe me, but I've never had to kill anyone. Not once. And I don't want to start now. I grew up Catholic. It's against my faith. But Travis is leaving everyone in the lurch here. And if we don't find something out by tonight, whatever happens is out of my hands. I'm just a middleman. Somebody else is pulling all the strings. So if you know where he is, please tell us so we can resolve this. When we used to get into fights, he'd go sleep it off at his friend's place. This guy, Jared Winters, he lived at this hotel. I'm not sure if he still lives there, but it might be worth a shot. You know the place? Yeah, I know the place. 